afternoon. Good afternoon. We can do better. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let me tell you why I say that. And, and for some of you who've never seen me before, I, I, I just retired from the Army after spending 31 years serving this great nation. so used to standing in front of groups of people and when you say when you give the greeting of the day you get a loud boisterous return so that's why i said we can do better my name is george ramsey i'm from marion iowa i moved here to iowa in 2012 because the army sent me here that's right i had a dream i was going to a state that began with an i and ended with an a and started making plans to go to indianapolis <laughs> But we loved it so much after our daughter graduated from high school and it was time for me to retire from the Army that my wife and I said we were going to stay here. We stayed here because we've been involved uh, in working with a number of organizations throughout the Cedar Rapids community, helping families that were struggling every day to be able to make ends meet, helping young people who were preparing for life after high school, and whether they were going to college or whether they were preparing to go to work, and even those who were deciding whether or not they wanted to serve their country. And so that work became very important for us, and we wanted to continue to do the things that we had been doing for uh, the five years that we've been living in this state. And now we're at a position where uh, we had to make a decision about what I wanted to do uh, to be able to serve people in the state of Iowa, even as I have done before, but on a much greater level. Look, I thought I was going to retire and spend some time with my son and daughter-in-law and granddaughter in Texas. And, travel to North Carolina to watch my daughter run track uh, throughout her school season and spend some time traveling in some of the warmer climates during the winter months like a lot of you do. Uh, but here we are today, six months after retiring from the Army. I've been sitting in some coffee shops, drinking coffee, listening to people who would often visit the same places I was visiting every single day, talking about the things that were affecting them the most. People talking about their health care and whether or not they can afford to pay for the prescriptions every day. People talking about the future that was in front of their grandchildren or the things that they were still be doing every single day to care for their children as they began to take care of their own families. And it became very obvious to me that people were hurting in this state. It became very obvious that people all across this district needed someone who was going to stand up for them every single day and fight to protect their health and prosperity, fight to protect their civil rights and civil liberties. And so I've been a fighter all my life. So you don't serve 31 years in the Army and not know what it means to be able to stand in the gap for people who are struggling every single day. Someone asked me once before, um, as I've been traveling along this trail, what did you do in the Army? Any veterans in the group? All right. So I'm a member of American Legion 298 in Marion. I retired from the Army as a first sergeant. Anybody know what a first sergeant is? All right, so for those that raise your hand, a first sergeant is the person who stands in the way to protect their soldiers every single day. He takes the bumps and blows that affects people's lives every day. And it's that same type of approach, that same type of understanding that I've gained over the 31 years that I served this great nation. Understanding what it means to be a bold and courageous leader to be able to fight every day for the things that you believe in and for the people that you protect every single day. That's why I'm in this race. I'm in this race because there's one candidate who can beat Rod Blum, and that's me. How do we know? Well, for some of you, you're gonna wake up tomorrow morning and you're gonna read the newspaper and you're gonna find that the latest poll that has come out has said that there's one candidate in this race who if the general election was held today, would be beating Rob Blum 48% to 42%, and that candidate is me. And so if we're going to take back this district, if we're going to bring some civility back to our lives and ensure that we're doing everything we can to protect our retirees, to protect our children, to ensure that every day that we wake up in this country, we don't have to worry about something being taken from us, We've got to stand and support a candidate who can be able to ensure that Rod Blum goes right back to Dubuque where he belongs and that he can no longer bring any harm to any citizen in this state. And so I say to you, my name is George Ramsey. I'm running for Congress not because I want to be a congressman. I'm running for congressman, oh, Congress because I want to be your congressman. 
I think that as, as a civil servant, as someone who has a responsibility to serve, we have a duty to serve the people we lead. The people we lead don't serve us. And so I'm looking forward to continuing along this campaign trail over the next few months to earn your vote, to show you that there is someone in this race that you can count on to stand in the gap for you every single day. Someone who is willing to be bold and courageous and be able to take the fight back to Washington to ensure that we're doing everything that we can to protect our citizens in this state and to protect every citizen in this state and not just a few. So thank you very much. Uh, I see my time is tough too and usually they give us 35 seconds to three minutes to talk and so it's amazing how fast five minutes go. But I, I, I'm truly thankful to be here tonight and I look forward to continuing to earn your vote uh, over the next four months as we go through the primary into the general election. Thank you.